Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And as always, we have the fabulous Bob Cook, who is doing another book review. And I believe this is book review nine, Bob. Nine books. That's incredible, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So today's book is a little bit different to the books that we've looked at through the other videos, mainly because the ones we've looked at in our other videos have been um, books that have been out for a while, books that have been um, available for a long time, some of them quite old books, you know, historically. Yeah, yeah, but this yeah. book that we're going to look at today, or you're going to talk about today, is pretty brand new and pretty up to date. So put us out of our misery, Bob. Which book is this? <laughs> it's by Michael Navellino. N E, no, sorry, N O V E L L I N O, Michael Novellino, and it's called The Transactional Analyst in Action Stroke Clinical Seminars 2012. So, what is it that's with this book that's caught your attention, Bob? The Psychodynamic Focus. Mm -hmm. Michael, uh, he really does look at the heritage of early transaction analysis. That's before Eric Byrne uh, really formulated his ideas and focus of the uh, strength of the adult ego state. He goes back really to some of Byrne's earlier, earlier thoughts uh, when he was uh, much more interested, this Eric Byrne, in psychoanalysis, psychodynamic psychotherapy. Um, so he brings TA into the psychoanalytic world his chapters, especially in the later part of this book, um, is called The Psychodynamic Approach. So he does, at the beginning of the book, go through the basic ideas of Eric Byrne and then talks about psychodynamic style of TA. Yes. And, of course, Byrne was, Byrne was taught by Eric Erickson, wasn't he? He did The Stages <laughs> of Man. And, yeah. you know, I think as, you, as, you, as you've alluded to in other interviews, um, you know, Byrne started off with a, you know, there, there was a CBT focus within what Byrne was, was doing. Yeah, strength in the adult ego state. Yeah, strength in the adult ego state. So I'm guessing from this, and certainly from the, the chats we've had off camera, that this book marks the arc of, of time that TA's existed. It goes from the very early roots of TA and brings it up to date. And TA's had quite a journey, hasn't it, through the years with the different schools and, you know, the, the big, I don't know if it was a big change, but the relational aspect of it that came in uh, about 10 years 2008. ago. 2008. 2008, yeah, it was about 10 years, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, Eric Byrne, when he wrote his first book, Transactional Analysis, which I reviewed, it was the first book. Yes. He, I believe started to go away in that book from his psychodynamic heritage, from his psychoanalytical heritage. And he saw TA as, as I said before, a focus on behavioral and thinking change. That's what I meant by strengthening the adult ego state. He didn't talk much about using TA from a psychodynamic position, which was putting the history you know, how it links to the past. In other words, um, didn't talk about going to the ch into the child ego state so much. It was much more about how you strengthen the adult ego state rather than looking for cure in the unconscious. Mm. And that's a different approach. And you're right, we've gone through many different schools um, in the last 60 years, different styles of TA, and this is, you know, a psychodynamic approach. Yes. So what would you say to someone who's, you know, say a student who's looking to spend their book money or, and build a library up, why would you say it was important that this featured in their libraries? Oh, this is essential. I mean, it's a book that goes through the major concepts of TA, so that's good in the start. But the last couple of chapters, he talks about how you use TA from a psychodynamic viewpoint and how you go into the unconscious processes and where cure is really in the past, it's going back into it, looking at the strivings, the longings of the child ego state, rather than an emphasis on how you strengthen the adult ego state. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so a, a movement away from this kind of CBT approach of strengthening the adult, 
mm. to looking at the presenting past, how the past has affects the here and now as a, yeah. as a subconscious discussion or an investigation or mm. an exploration yeah. of the subconscious. Yeah, it's a different, it's a different approach. Mm. Um, uh, as I said in the, in the beginning of this book, it does go through the major concepts of TA. So it's not, it's not like we're discounting TA, uh, but he's talking about how using transaction analysis from another style, mm. which has really been, as you've just suggested, the history of transaction analysis. People think ego states, games, and scripts. However, the how they use TA is according to their readings and trainings. Absolutely, Bob. Well, it sounds like a wonderful book. It's it's up to date. Well, at least two thousand and twelve, which mm. um, in the in the world of counselling and psychotherapy books makes it positively yesterday, doesn't it? And, <laughs> and uh, what we'll do is we'll put a slide up at the end so people can have a look at it. We'll put a link in the link bar below so people can click on to the link and go to the uh, site um, you know where the publisher is so they can examine it and uh, and have a look and, and as always bob a real pleasure interviewing you so bob cook thank you very much thank you Roy lee oaks